how you've mishandled it and let others step in and do a meaningful investigation and implement reforms, but not play an active role yourself because, I mean, this is just sort of, you know, pointing out failures over a very long period of time. So why not just ex exhibit leadership by getting out of the way and not being on the implementation team, not having the audacity, really, to stand there and look out at everyone, let others take on this role. My other remark, my other question, and that was a question, I'd like an answer. Uh, my other question is, uh, I've been contacted by a number of individuals who, who uh, claim they're victims of psychiatric research misconduct. Carl, Carl Elliott has been contacted by more of them. The focus right now seems to be on you know, the implementation team and taking recommendations and turning them into reform reforms. But there doesn't seem to be anything you know, underway in terms of investigating whether this is uh, the Markinson case is the tip of a larger iceberg. If there are additional instances of research misconduct, including coercive recruitment into psychiatric clinical trials. Um, and it seems to me that, that you know, for these, for these alleged victims of research misconduct, for others who have invested a substantial amount of time arguing that there needs to be an investigation, and for clinician investigators in the Department of Psychiatry, at some point this needs to be put to rest. This can't just go on for another five years. So why not, um, you know, why not exhibit leadership by, say, not just waiting and seeing what the FDA does, but as university officials, if you insist on remaining involved as you are, why not go to the FDA? Why not go to the Attorney General's office? Say there are long-standing allegations of psychiatric research misconduct, and you would like them, as an outside body, to investigate whether there have been any violations of state law in the conduct of psychiatric clinical trials, Attorney General's office, whether there's been any violations of federal regulations, something you can ask of the FDA, and whether there are any ethical issues as well. Why not have them do that?